Hey everybody, this is a tutorial to program your Viking sleeper. If you've got the PNC programming port option, you can see there's no 3.5 millimeter jack, so this is programmed through the PNC port. Let's go ahead and put the controller into programming mode. If you haven't already, uh, power off the controller. You can do that just by pulling out the batteries. And uh, go ahead and hold down the sync button up here on the top while powering up the controller. You're going to see those two bottom lights turn out uh, pretty fast. That means it's in a programming mode. And these lights are going to keep flashing because I haven't synced this controller to my Xbox yet. So we've got the controller in programming mode. Let's go ahead and set that aside for now. And uh, go ahead and surf to the website. Hit up the downloads page and pick the game that uh, you want to program your controller. I'm going to go with COD5 here and make sure to pick a sleeper preset as we're programming a sleeper. Right click on the on the file that you want to get save as and uh, go ahead and put it on your desktop so you can find it easier we're all done with the uh, internet browser here go ahead and find that file on your desktop and I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see what's uh, going on next so this is a RAR file I've already installed WinRAR so just double click it's gonna open up and show you the files that are in there two files what is this HID bootloader? So go ahead and drag that to your desktop. The other one is the hex file. That's the rapid fire code. Drag that to your desktop. And we're all done with this window. And let's go ahead and launch that HID bootloader. Here's what it looks like. Right now it just says device not attached, which means it's time to plug in our controller. So go ahead and grab the controller. It's uh, still happily flashing away. It's in programming mode grab the PNC, go ahead and plug the USB end of the PNC cable into your into your PC go ahead and plug this into your controller the lights are going to go off, that's perfectly normal and uh, you'll notice that HID bootloader now says that there is a device attached so we are ready to program the controller go ahead and click open hex file surf to your desktop pick that hex file that you drug and put drag and dropped onto your desktop earlier Go ahead and hit Program Verify. It's going to do its thing pretty quick. And the message you want to be sure you get at the end there is completed successfully. That means we're all done. Go ahead and uh, the last thing we're going to do is click on Reset Device. And go ahead and unplug your controller. Power it up to test it. And uh, you can see right there the LED 4 light is on, which means the rapid fire is uh, ready to go. And you'll just want to go over to your Xbox and uh, hit the sync button on your Xbox and also hold down the sync button here on the controller to sync the two up.